This is code.org. I'm currently working on their CS Principles course. I'm on Unit 5, Building Apps, Lesson 11, Wall Loops, Puzzle 12, Expressing Stopping Conditions, Until Loops. It is often more natural to think about loops in terms of when the loop should end rather than when it sh should continue. For example, you might say, keep going down the road until you see the gas station, or keep calling until you get through to someone. You might think of these as until loops rather than while loops. Since you want the loop to continue until a condition is true rather than while a condition is true. There is no until loop in JavaScript, true, but it is actually quite easy to translate until loops into while loops so that you can use them in programs. An until loop runs until a con condition is true, as opposed to a while loop which runs as long as a condition is true. That means that until is until loop is the logical inverse of a wall loop. It runs as long as a condition is false. The table below shows how you can use the not operator to translate stepping condition, stopping conditions into wall loop conditions. Obviously, yep. And it shows you how to negate things. Yep. Not how we can Note how we can use a not operator to find logical inverse or opposite of the condition from the until loop to create a while loop. Let's do a little practice. Do this. Starter code is provided. Yes, it re repeatedly rolls two dice and writes their values to the screen. Careful, before you edit this code, it creates an infinite loop uh, noted. Use this technique above to modify the code so that the loop stops when both dice are five or greater together okay while true oh yeah, yeah that you don't want to do um so if both die all right so we're going to definitely be using our not operator so i'm going to pull that out first but ah okay and now what when do we want this loop to stop well we want it to stop when our dice are greater than five so we're going to need an and because both of them have to be and then greater than or equal to because it says that it says it can be greater than or equal to five die one and then five and then die two and then five i believe and that should do it because now this will be false unless both of our dice the inside of this is going to say, okay, is die one greater than five? If th the computer comes back and says, true, die one six right now, we then have an and. And then it says, is die two greater than five? Maybe die two is three. So that's false. And in a and and statement, right, that means the entire thing comes back false. Both sides have to be true for it to be true. And if all of this is now false, well, we have a false, we have a not here. So it's not false, which the computer interprets as true and runs the loop again. But once both of these are five, let's say this is six and this is six, the computer will then say true, okay, true, and we have a not. So then not true, and we don't run the loop. Because once this is false, we're done. And it's tricky because it's only going to be false when our condition is actually met. So when what do we want? Die 1 to be greater than or equal to 5, and for die 2 to be greater than and equal to 5. Once that happens, both of these are true, the inside's true, but this the whole thing then is false. So we're stopping the loop by telling it to go until what we want By, by doing the inverse. We're telling it what we want and then saying not. Because the second a loop is false, it doesn't function. And that's what we want. We want to break it. We want it to stop once what we want is, is working. Tricky, 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 double negative stuff. Let's uh, keep going.